Hello, boys and girls. I'm in a new space today. It's Mrs. Yost here in Bromley. You can see he's very relaxed because he loves this story. I'm bringing you this book in my room because this is a space where I feel safe and happy and comfortable. And I'm reading a book today. It's called In My Heart, A Book of Feelings, and it's by Joe Wittick. And I'm going to read you this book and I'm going to bring you a, a short Bible lesson today to talk about where we go with our feelings. So, in my heart. In my heart is full of feelings. Big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shining and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast. I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Other times my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. Oh, Bromley doesn't like that. Bromley doesn't like when my heart is mad. Let's see if we can calm him down. It's okay, Bromley. Lay down. But other times my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as the snowfall. This is when my heart is calm, like Bromley is now. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days, my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. My heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching toward the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. It's time for a bit of fun. My heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. Do you like silliness, Bromley? Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one can see it, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart feels shy. My heart can feel so many feelings and yours can too. Today my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? That's a really good question to ask. How does your heart feel? And that's, bless you, that's a question that we're going to look at today. Just like the weather when you look outside, it seems like it's always changing. One minute the sun is shining and it's warm, then there's hail, then there's wind, then there's lightning, then there's thunder and snow today. Just like the weather changes, our feelings change too. And it is normal for us to have feelings. You may be having feelings that are changing a little more often recently because of all the things that are going on in the world. And that's normal. So I'm here to tell you where you can go with those feelings. 
You can talk to your brothers and sisters. You can talk to your mom and dad. But most of all, you should know that you are not alone with your feelings and that God is with you and that God loves you. This month, our Bible verse is, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Well, what does this mean? Where do we go when we have big feelings and we're feeling a little lost? Well, God is telling us, Jesus told us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So we should follow Jesus. Jesus said, follow me and respond to the world with love. And that's how Jesus lived his life. So I'm going to sing you a little song because we all have a lot of feelings. And when we're feeling things and we're not sure how to feel, we can take our feelings to God and we can pray about them. And one of the ways that I like to pray is by singing a song. So this song is called Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. So when you're having big feelings, you can sing this song. And it goes like this. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things on earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. So, if you turn your eyes on Jesus, all the things that you're feeling, all the ever-changing feelings that you're having, well, you can bring all those feelings to God and you can respond in a loving way, just as Jesus was our teacher. So continue to pray, continue to bring your feelings to God and know that you are not alone and God loves you. That's our Bible lesson today. I hope you liked this book in my heart and maybe you can share your feelings with someone today. You can draw a picture and show it to your mom and dad that shows how you're feeling. All right. I'm feeling very calm and peaceful, just like Bromley. And I'm missing you and thinking about you. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.